So who is that person? That's the first W. Who? The second one is what? What does that person do? Well, we know they're axe murderer, right? You know, because then they probably have an axe and they're going to be killing people. <laughs> but how did they get there, right? You know? Really, I mean, how did they become? They, I'm sure they were born, like nobody's born axe murderer, you know? Yeah, they probably went to school somewhere and did some stuff before, yeah? What got them to that point? You know, you know? What? What is it about this person here? What, what story? When I look at you and I see Axe Murder, you know, you know, think about some of the really complex characters that we might have seen on, on, on film, yeah? Um, I think the things that, that might have drawn us to them, well, well, for me personally, anyway, is the complexity of the character. Yeah, it's not just that they're spewing out lines. It's not about lines, it's not just about lines. Everybody can recite lines, yeah? It's about what's happening behind it, like Sir Anthony Hopkins. Well, I'm not sure if any of y'all know Sir Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, or some of the great, I don't know, who, who, who do y'all call it? Say the great? Leonardo I guess is one of the greatest right now. Um, Leo does. DiCaprio, right? DiCaprio. No, you have no idea who Leonardo DiCaprio is? Yeah. Wolf of Wall yeah. Street. Yeah, okay, yeah. Titanic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> But no, seriously. So we, 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 we look at these guys and you think, you know what? They really get into it. Yeah? But that's because they took time and built the character. Denzel builds a character. You don't just walk on. Yeah, they might have had some, some training at some point. But they didn't know who that person is. Yeah? All right. Where does that person come from? What country does your character come from? I thought, like, when, when the two of you guys came up, and you were speaking with an accent. I thought to myself, if it is that that wasn't your real voice, I mean, I, obviously it's the first time. If it is that that wasn't your real, that was actually how she described herself to you, I was gonna run outside. <laughs> Seriously, that would have been like the best. That would have made my day, you know. But but that's just I'm not sure how many people would have seen um, Titanic, the movie. Mm -hmm. Or you even heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> so there was this boat that sank <laughs> some time ago. Right? It was called Titanic. Or the men in the movie about it. The Caprio was in it. And it was, it was the lady who was playing the leading role. Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet said. And Kate Winslet got nominated. I think she actually won the best actress. Yeah, she, she won best actress. She won best actress. And people were saying, well, I can't wait when she have won best actress. And at one point I thought, so I thought she was brilliant in the movie. Don't get me wrong. She certainly deserved a nomination. But then I saw an interview with her after she had won. And the woman is as British as, like, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth or Boonie. <laughs> I mean, seriously, she was talking about this company. I said, I was like, what? This is how she actually sounds? In the movie, when we talk about an American accent. I mean, pretty much, basically. You know, she literally became the other person. So it's like totally changing where you're where you come from. You may be asked to play a character from some somewhere else. You know? So that's the that's the I think that's the where, yeah? What type of family? What type of fam where, what type of family structure this person might have come from? Which class? Middle class, upper class, is this person poor? You know, maybe maybe you're asked a murderer character. It's a person who really had all, all the choppings of life, you know? That would really make it complex, because this individual had it all. And now here they are killing people with an axe. <laughs> when? When was he or she born? I give you Carrie Rice Smith, yeah? She is my daughter. She's also this lady's daughter on Keeping Up With The Joneses. Age difference in real time? Months. <laughs> They're months apart in age. On TV? Many years apart in age. Many. <laughs> yeah, many. But really, so she plays a teenager, yeah? So, but, so she, she had to know when Tracy was born, yeah? And become Tracy. So when she got on set, and, and people watching, it's not like, 
She's not her daughter. <laughs> you know, clearly they're just eight months apart. You know, but she had to be believable. So she needed to know when Tracy was one. She need, of all the persons on set, she needed to hit that particular W fairly hard. bottle on the ground. You then got up from the chair. Technically you should have either knocked over the bottle or you should have made an exaggerated move to avoid knocking over the bottle. And then suddenly the bottle appeared in your hand. Um, this is this is from, mind you, this is from a mind point of view. If you actually really had a real bottle, you probably would have not made that mistake. Mm -hmm. But in terms of, of continuity, you should be aware of that and then like okay you were trying to put the bottle I gather at the end toward on a shelf or something oh you threw it okay well you see I didn't I didn't get that impression I was trying to figure out did she put it on a shelf and she missed or what it's good too um, because remember the, the subtleties that we spoke about um, for stage Maybe she would have needed to be a bit more red or and shrugly, and she said both kind of thing. But it's, it's, it's film, so remember, it's, it's a, a lot more intimate. And maybe because I was standing here, which is uh, like a believable distance as to where the camera would be from her, I was seeing a lot more than maybe you were seeing, because I was seeing like little shaky things in her hand. I was seeing, yeah, you see? But the camera, the camera is very close. So the camera is going to pick up all of those intimate things. So it doesn't need to be as exaggerated as as, as film would be. Because I eat standing here, I saw little shaky things in her hand. I saw her move do like little half twitchy things. I picked up on a lot of little intimate things that the camera would also pick up that would sell her being. <laughs> Turn on that music. <laughs> I guess because that's something I would have done. Right. So I waited for here. She bummed on the fan and be like, let's send. 
Right. <laughs> but we saw that she was I, pretty bad. No. Right. I, I do agree with her. I, I would have thought she, yeah. she would have said at some point, Something. turn down the music. On this ZR. So um, ZR. And not only that, to convey that she's being on a ZR, mm -hmm. being it's this, this kind of a circumstance instead of actually being on a ZR, um, I would have thought she would have been, you know, when the ZR is mm -hmm. moving, moving. Mm -hmm. or even like she might look at, uh, as if somebody's about to come on board. What? Mm -hmm. ain't, what? Ain't and they're like, <laughs> like so, <laughs> right? Because when you're, when I, I have been on a ZR, and when I'm, when I'm in a bad mood, I don't want to move anybody. Like, you, you go around, sir. <laughs> 